guys. Maybe it is the weather. Can I just ask you something from my vlog? Are you okay? Are you are you have you have any problem? Do you need anything? Maybe I get, I bet you a drink or something. Do you have? Are you staying here in this spot? All right, guys. So I was just walking by. I saw the gentleman. I just wanted to make sure you were good, just to check on you, because I see that you're moving a little bit messed up. What's your name, brother? What's your name? All right, guys, we're not gonna get anywhere right now with this gentleman. Probably, maybe did something. I'm not really sure. I don't see anything over there. All right, guys, so we're in Honolulu, Hawaii. I just wanted to check on this brother here, see how he's doing. All right, man, you're good though, right? You don't need anything? All right, man, have a good day. How you doing, man? Benji. Benji. Ben Jeff. You feel a little bit better? You good? Okay, awesome, man. Can I get you um, something to drink? Uh, soda? Oh, yeah, Coke. Coke. I got you, brother. All right, later. Okay. Tell me your name again. Uh, my name is Connor Mickey. Uh, you can hold it like this. You don't have to cover it, yeah. Connor Mickey? Connor Mickey. Connor Mickey. Mickey. Did, did you grow up over here? I'm originally from Maine. From Maine? Yep. Here you go. I got you your, your Coke. I keep that out of the camera for sport corporate sponsors. There you go. You're very intelligent. So I just want to know, what's uh, are you living on the streets? Uh, a little bit, but it's like freaking off. Uh, it is a very freaking long story. Okay. You know, I kind of ran away and then it was popular freaking New Orleans, freaking like drinking and freaking playing banjo and jumping on freight trains and band and buildings was very freaking more freaking popular itself. So. Okay. So, so you were like, popular on YouTube? No, when I got here, it's like after, it was pretty boring. So it's like. It's pretty boring. But afterwards, if you're going to do that, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, yeah. So it's like. Freaking. So, um, is there anything stopping you from going to the shelter? Not right off the bat, actually. It's just like... It's fucking fun. Do you have anywhere to sleep at night? Not really. I'm more worried about the other people. Okay. So you're able to maintain because the weather's pretty good over here. You don't have a problem. Right. And if there's a big freaking, like, you know, big hurricane going on, it's like I'm freaking, like, you know... It's, you know That's going to be a problem. Some, but it's like... Because you sleep outside. Right. Right. But it's like, dude, I freaking home, came homeless in the winter twice and almost freaking froze to death. So it's right. Like, it's different yeah. than Maine. Over yeah. here is better. You can stand through the winter. Maine, you cannot. I mean, Maine, like, the loved one's there if I freaking need it for an emergency freaking reason. You know, something went down here, but it's like... My name is Mike. Tell me your name again. Connor. Connor. So, um, how do you get food every day? I saw you had a little sign there. Oh, freaking... It's an even longer freaking story with food. Okay. Well, I got you some food today. This one oh, doesn't gotcha. have any corporate sponsor. I don't know if you're going to like it, because the last person I gave it to didn't like it, but you can try it. I like it. It tastes pretty good. It's it's called tofu nugget, but it tastes like fish. That actually is really freaking sick, yes. Yeah, that tastes really good. It has like a fish, it's like a fish cake or something. Oh, nice. And there's there's um, chopsticks here and soy sauce. So I just want to ask you, when you go try to go to the shelter, they would they would try to do a drug test, right, in the shelter. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Like I haven't even heard of any freaking shelters close by, or like actually fucking like I haven't even like been trying to. Yeah, but it's like I still gotta freaking get in touch with like one of them to like freaking actually. Freaking... Would you be able to pass a drug test if the shelter gave it to you? Uh, marijuana, I'd probably freaking lose in a heartbeat. It's like freaking it's in my system all the freaking time. Do you have any mental health issues? That's a freaking very complicated freaking story. <laughs> Um, so maybe you could try to get into, do you, you, so you do have mental health issues. Any, like, um, psychiatric problem? Undiagnosed currently. You're diagnosed? I said undiagnosed. Undiagnosed. Yeah. So maybe, because I know that there is one mental health facility that they can take you over by Illy Bay, like by the Puna Wai rest stop. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to talk to some of the houseless people. Is it because the weather's good? Is it because of drug use that they will not be allowed into the shelter? So I hope that by the food that I'm giving you and the and the corporate sponsored Coke, oh, exactly. that that'll make you feel strong. You know what I mean? Oh, indeed. God bless you, and you know all any of viewers that I can get. I'm I don't know what else they would want to ask you. Your name is Connor. 
and basically you've been surviving on the streets but it's just that we need to get a place to rest every day right like a bed for ourselves and oh, then you can exactly. get yourself back on your feet, right? Yeah, and a purpose too. It's like and a purpose. Yeah. What about work? Have you thought about work as a purpose? Uh, not yet. Not, until we're freaking a Mike Pence is freaking pretty much done with, like, uh, or pretty much over with. That's when I'm gonna start freaking, you know, start freaking focusing more seriously on actually an actual profession. Freaking a Mike Pence definitely has my vote. I'm freaking like, yeah. He's not even in the race. Really? It's Kamala Harris versus Trump. I'm definitely going for Trump, for Trump again this time. But. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Mike. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Brown. I'm just well um, connected again. You know, place their park for tomorrow. Go recycle. Yeah, the cans. Yeah. And um, I don't know when my friend came back to me when. We go downtown because uh, we staying downtown. We go visit uh, my the cousin uh, in White Pao. Mm -hmm. And right uh, earlier, night time they came back, and uh, I'm just wait for my my friend. He he go uh, check the sister upstairs. I don't know what time he came back to me. Uh, that's why I just separate the. Uh, can and Kong, can I ask you something? Mm. Can you can you get any other employment besides this? Because this seems very hard to make money. Yeah. Can you can you get a job? Yeah, before I I work right now no no more job because um my the one important to me is Somebody stolen. That's why I never applied the job. What is it? Passport, I ninety four, and so so on security. Right. So you need documents. Yeah. That's Are you I, an American citizen? No, I'm not. But you can get ITIN. Yeah. No. Uh, no. I just wait for uh, some. Uh, aunt, my auntie just came here. She came here. Yeah. Yeah. He just carry my birth certificate. I just. Go to the op my commission office limit. I apply again the passport. So, so you're not an American citizen, but you're a Filipino citizen. Oh no, I'm Micronesian. Micronesian. Yeah. So you just need to get you need to get work authorization to work in America. Yes. That's that's my problem for. That's uh, the problem. Somebody stolen my bag. When I was uh, sleeping in Anapai Park, so I don't know because I'm just come over here. I'm just wake up. I'm just wake. No, only just uh, and my backpack no more. Backpack. I don't know somebody cutting on me when I sleeping. Yeah. All right. So basically, you just you just you just need to get work authorization for America. Yeah. That's why. Can you can you legally work in America? Yeah. Yes. Oh, what is he? Can you can you are you allowed to work in America? Yeah. Really? Yes, your... Micronesian can work in America for real. Yeah, all people came in um, U.S. for the work, or all people from Micronesia. Really? Yeah, come in U America just for the work, school. Right. Yeah, that's why we just uh, spread spread from the island. So you Micronesia. just need to get you just need to get your paperwork. Yeah. So you're allowed to work over here. Okay, so. So what are you missing? Um, passport, the ninety-four, and so so. Really? Mm, nothing on me. That's the one. Have you gone to the Punawai? The Punawai rest stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, the one uh, downtown. Yeah, downtown. Yeah, 
I just sometimes I go shower. But can there. I can they not get you the document that you need? I when I just go, I just uh, ask to our workers there just for uh, help me on on that. I don't know if this they help me on that or not. Because uh, my babe, I used the box rest stop already. You used the rest stop? Yeah. For the nether. Alright, well, I want to help you as much as I can. Can you just tell me your name again? What's Prong. your name? Prong. Prong? Yeah. Alright, so basically, you just need to get, you need to get your documents. You need to get your passport. Yeah. I-94 and social. I-94 and social. Yeah. Okay, and then you can find work. What type of work are you looking for? In any work. Any work. Kitchen, main, uh, landscaping, or contractor. Okay. Yeah. And you usually stay over here in the park in Blasdale? Oh, no. I'm just waiting for my friend. He came. Came back to me and we go. Where do you usually stay? Downtown. Where? Um, St. Elizabeth Church because uh, I'm uh, uh, people for clean outside the church downtown. St. Elizabeth? Yes. Is that in Waikiki? No, uh, Kani. Just Kani. Where is that? I don't, I don't know. Across the, um, the one uh, market, across Talopa market. Which one? Across the uh, Talofa market, the Polynesian market. The Polynesian market? Yeah. Y yeah. And St. Elizabeth Church next. St. Elizabeth Church? Yeah, next Tamasiro. All right, I'm going to search it up. So you just need to get your documents. Yeah. And then you can find work. Yes. I just uh, have one certificate from LN2 work because I go on the program. That's the problem. I never apply work because I'm no more. Do you have any one. disabilities or are you in good shape? Can you work? Uh, I don't know. Do you have any? Do you have any medical problems? Yeah, before. Um, no, but I mean, like right now, can you can you work? Can you do any job, physical labor? Yeah, when I just uh, work hard, yeah, my my stomach is cutting. I'm uh, just take the stuff heavy. Yeah, I'm just feeling hurt in my stomach because the cut my cut. So you have a little bit of stomach issues. No. Do you have any like any bipolar or schizophrenia anything like that oh no. no so you just want to find work yeah you I, just want to find work to make money i'm just uh, the fast cash only not uh, going on the one apply i just go i uh, i just and waiting for somebody coming picky or we won't just work a day every day you yeah. just want to work every day. Yeah, and um, no, only fast cash. Is your passport issued from from uh, Micronesia, or is it issued from where is it issued from? From uh, micro, micro Micronesia. No. Yeah. Okay. So you lost it. Yeah. No, somebody stolen my bag. All my stuff important to me. I put in my bag. Nothing. Everything. That's why Somebody stole it. Yeah. So that's how you got into this position because because you don't have your documents now. Yeah. So you have to replace it. Where did they replace it at? The embassy? Yeah. Oh, no. This, uh, they have one uh, Micronesian office on here. It's staying in the beach, which is uh, expired passport or renewed passport. Yeah. Our people, Micronesian people, yeah, well, they go there. And renew you and apply. So you have to get it. Is it cost money? Yeah, just seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five. Seventy-five dollars. 
Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Drink some. Drink it. Drink it. Make you feel better. I just wanted to ask, like, what's the situation over here with homelessness? No, no, you gotta drink it. You gotta hold it up. Okay, drink. Oh, I'm sorry. I squeezed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to ask, like, what's the situation with homelessness over here? Is there enough shelters? Or is there not enough shelters? Huh? There's not enough, right? But I feel like, is it also because they don't accept people with, with habit, like um, drinking alcohol or drug habit or something like that? They won't accept you in there? Is that also something that is preventing people from going to the shelter? Yeah? Is that why you're not in the shelter? Because you can't get in because you have a drug problem? Or is that what it is? They won't let you in. So they try to do the urine analysis and then they won't let you in? So where do you stay at usually? I stay all over the Do you use um, fentanyl? Is that what you're using? What is it, pills or is it the skin cotton in the arm? What is your name? My name is Mike, nice to meet you. What's your name? Awesome, awesome. How do you say your name? I'm sorry. Also. I'm sorry? Also. Also. Yeah. Are, do you speak Hawaiian? No. So you wouldn't be considered to be native Hawaiian. You don't have that blood in you. No. Are you from the mainland? You're from here. You're born here. So you should, so you, okay. So you, so. But you're not Hawaiian blood. Are you a different, are, what are you? What is your nationality? Samoan. Samoan? Samoan and what else? I can't hear you. Samoan. Sokinawan. So you're Island of Pacifica. Island of Pacifica. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, um, where are you gonna stay tonight? Where are you gonna stay tonight, Asa? A spot down there? Well, I got the water for you here, and maybe, maybe we're gonna, hopefully that you can just quit this stuff and get off of it, right? Here's your water in the basket, okay? You're gonna be okay? You gonna be okay? Yes? Okay. All right, it was a pleasure meeting you, okay? Bye-bye. I'll see you later, okay? Try to stay up, all right? All right, I'm gonna... Listen, do you, do you want me to call the ambulance for you or anything? No. Do you need help? No. Are you gonna pass out? No. Are you okay? All right, I have water here. Try to drink this water, okay? Because I think maybe maybe you took a little too much, okay? It's too much. It's not. It's not. You're not. You're not looking right. Try to drink this water here. Drink some water, please. Okay, drink some. Yeah, I got you. The whole bottle, the 700 milliliters. You know, I'll, I'll give you the cap, and then you can fill it up over there. They have the machine; you can fill it up. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are like the native Hawaiians. You know, you guys shouldn't be going through this, man. Honestly, this is not, in my opinion, this shouldn't be an option for anybody. You know, drinking is one thing, smoking weed is one thing, but getting like this it leaves you very vulnerable. 
you know? So anybody, anybody could take your stuff, you could, you know, you can't be productive in society, you know what I'm saying? So you, you gotta, I, in, my, in, my, in my opinion, it's not, it's not good for you. You shouldn't do these things, and I, maybe I'm preaching to the choir, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my, maybe it's falling on deaf ears, deaf ears right? What I'm saying? But I think that, you know, maybe your body is also addicted to it, so you might have to go through some, some recovery. But uh, where I come from, in another state, uh, Oregon, Eugene, they have a lot of uh, Narcotics Anonymous program, like people that you can meet with and talk to, and then different programs that are, yeah, that's, yeah, where I come from. I knew my boyfriend um, was staying over there, and that's where he wanted to go. Eugene? Uh, in Oregon? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I just came from, in Oregon. Yeah. I was in Oregon. He wanted to go back over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's that's what I'm saying is that um, that that place where I was at was like really good for recovery. It has a lot of addicts over there too, but it has everything set up for recovery. Really? Yes, yes. If you go, if you can go to to where I was specifically where I was at in Eugene, they have Narcotics Anonymous meetings every single day. Get yourself into one of those meetings, but you might need some also some chemical therapy to help get off of these drugs because your body's already addicted to it right so you might need to wean yourself off of it like uh certain they have like suboxone and stuff like that and then you can start to get off of it because you know if you just cut it cold turkey then it's gonna you know you might go through withdrawal symptoms i'm not a doctor or anything like that but um you know i'm not even like a, um you know like a KSAC or like caseworker or anything like that i'm just a regular person and uh you know i make my video i'm just trying to like show how it is over here and I, I felt like there was a one pro problem with meth but I think that also fentanyl the blues is also another problem right is it really available over here a lot a lot of people are on blues yep. is it is that the color of the pill blue is that why they call it blues no so why do they call it that I'm not sure I'm but it's basically fentanyl pills How long have you been homeless for? Mm, about two years. Two years. And have you tried to go to the shelter or try to get housing at all? No, but I want to. Okay. And do you have any other problems like with your boyfriend? Does, does he hit you? Does he do anything to you? No. Okay, so your boyfriend is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's just, the, the problem is the drug problem, right? Yeah. That's the main problem I think we're dealing with. Because you seem, other than that, I think you can get yourself, you know, back together if you can get off of the drugs. Yeah. Right? That's what I think. Tell me your name again. Aso. 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 All right. Well, I'm Mike. It was a pleasure speaking with you, okay? I hope you can get off of that. I hope you can get yourself into housing and stuff like that. Because most of the people that I've seen, they have a problem with meth. Not, really? Yeah, that's what I thought was the main problem here. Not doing fentanyl. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? Is it more meth or more fentanyl problem here? More fentanyl. More fentanyl. How long have you been doing fentanyl? Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. a month? Just a month, that's it? Are you sure it wasn't longer no. than that? Maybe longer than that? No. Just one month? Yes. Okay. Because I was doing heroin. Heroin. Before that? Yeah. And then you switched? Yes. Why did you switch? What, did it become too hard to find the heroin? No, because um, that was just meaning I was there. Fent was always there. Yeah, when I was getting, like, I was having withdrawals of, from um, the boy, you know, um, I would always have fat. I mean, not not me, but, you know, like, everybody would have fat, so I would just hit the fat just to get me well. And, like, it would just take me one hit. Just one hit? Yeah, to get me well. Right. 
And how, when you say take one hit, what do you mean by one hit? Is that an injection or is that a pill? Oh, you gotta smoke it off of a foil. Oh, so you freebase it? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know they can do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you and thank you so much for talking with me. Is there anything else I can get you in the store? You want something else? Can I get some chips or something? I got you. What kind of chips? Um, like Cheeto Puffs. Cheeto, the puffed ones? Yeah. I got you. Just the regular Cheetos, right? Okay, here you go. I got you. I got your stuff for you. Oh, All right. So you feel a little bit better? When I when I when I first saw you, she, you know, you were like a little bit like leaning over. That's why I just wanted to make sure you was okay. And I got you the water over there. I gave you the water, but you seem like you're doing much better right now. Yeah. So, um, are you going to be okay and have a place to stay tonight? I mean, it seems like the weather's pretty good over here. So most people, they just sleep outside. Like, it's not really a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. But, but the, beach they all the beach. But I heard on the beach that people steal stuff. Like, while you're sleeping, they can steal your stuff. But what about... Um, what you were saying about the stealing, I wanted to hear about that. Oh, like, when you're sleeping, you know, Micronesian or some of the local youngsters, they see you sleeping and then they look at picking crappy bag and damn. But do you think that most of those people who are stealing are, are using drugs and that's why they're stealing? Because if they're young... Oh, yeah, yeah. They actually look, looking for anything they can find. Pills for sale, uh, pipes for sale, dope, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And when you say dope, you mean meth, right? Yeah, meth, We Dope can refer to any drug. Yeah, yeah. Because I always, like, I always remember, I always thought I remember hearing that dope, like, specifically re- referred to heroin. But I think out here, specifically in Hawaii, dope refers to almost like you said, like any drug. Oh, yeah. But mostly, like, mostly I think meth. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But would you say that there's another drug besides that that also has been destroying a lot of the people over here? Is it crack? Is that the other uh, drug? No, hardly crack. Crack, most, mostly meth. Meth. Heroin, and now they got that fentanyl. Right, fent- fent- fentanyl. People dying yeah. off of that. Yeah. What What else would you say is hard about staying in the streets over here? Uh, the rain. The rain. Yeah. yeah, the rain. Yeah, the rain. Because it can rain at any given time. There's no. <laughs> there's no. Uh, there's no really like season season to it. Uh, like it yeah. could just rain any any time randomly. And then all depends. That, that's why sometimes it's good to make make friends with the manager on a property before you go there. And yeah, I get in hard time. Cops kicking me out. I don't know place. What do you think so I can make one small section here at night or whatever? And then it's a owner. What do you mean? I don't understand. I didn't hear you. Like, write one letter? Mm-hmm. Put your name, put your name. That way when the cops come, phone number, whatever. Yeah. Right now, when I get this paper, you can call it my cop. That they said I could stay here? Yeah. And the, and the cops will bother you. That's what I mean. yeah. From staying in that spot? Yeah, yeah. Because that's their property? Yeah. But how often do you think the cops really bother people for staying somewhere? Like I just came by... Uh, depend on the complaints. The complaints? Yeah. That makes sense. Depend on the complaints and how, how long they were there. Because get, get some camp, the team, they are like over six months, nine months, sometimes one whole year. Yeah. I just saw all over there down the block by the it's like it's um a little bit past the eternal flame there's oh. like a nice house over there I think it might be 
and then across the street is the the statue of it looks like the king oh, it's yeah, black yeah. and gold but across the street from that there's a nice big open area with some trees oh. but I saw some people staying over there and I was surprised because it seems like that is like almost like government land or something it looks like oh, yeah, yeah. it looks like the buildings are like municipal old style like that might have been like the old city hall or something well, it looks like that, but I'm surprised that people were in that park. Well, the one on this side? No, straight down that street. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's actually the palace. The palace? Yeah. I figured that might have yeah. been the palace, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. So, they don't bother people for staying on that on that grassy area? Uh, only during the day. Only during the day? Yeah. yeah. Because they close that. They close at five. Yeah, they close up the gate. So you can't stay in there after five. What about the cops with stuff like drinking in public? Do they bother people a lot for that, for drinking in public? Like let's say you have a, a no, can of beer really or something like that. If they catch you, they probably give you a ticket. What about theft? If you steal and you get caught, is that it? Are you going to jail or are you getting are you getting off over here? Are you getting arrested? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed? Any, any store. Yeah. But well, the time might be right? Walmart. One more. Depending on the value too, eh? Right. I heard about that. Anything go up over three, three hundred. They consider that a felony. Right. Yeah. In California, they raised it to nine fifty. So here it's oh, a little it's lower. Not, it's not too bad. They raised it up to 950. You know? Well anyways, that was that was nice you. Can I ask you one more thing? Do you know about the homeless encampment in Y and I? It's supposed to be a big camp over there. About oh, 250 yeah. people living. Oh I don't know about it. I think so they get the police on in um, Pearl Harbor Park. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's quite a way down. There's like tents there, but I, I don't know if that's on the police or, or what, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, I think I saw that actually before. But I think that some, yeah, I think that um, what I'm talking about is actually, it's a, it's like a, people set up like pretty, pretty built, built up their own thing. Uh, and it's, um, it's almost like a tent city, but you know, they built it obviously with, 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 um, you know, this, the sked or, you know, like the wooden, yeah, the wooden, yeah, yeah. the wooden things or whatever, whatever they use to build it. It's pretty built, like they invested time building those houses. It's not houses, but it's like, you know, like handmade structure. And they said that they've been there for a while. I think it's on a, on like a, like a city park or like a county park or whatever you call. But I'm pretty sure it's in Y&I. So. I don't know. I don't go out there. It's a little too far. Yeah. I think, I think it'll awesome. take like an hour and 20 minutes or something. Okay, awesome. I gotta go. Sunny early, not strong. Went out the west side. Too hot. It's too hot. Yeah. And North Shore is is on. Uh, that's the other side. Yeah. They also bother you too. The security that stays over there. Will they bother? Nah, not really. They won't. They won't. Will they kick you out of here if you're if you're staying in here or something? Oh yeah. At night, yeah. At night, but in the daytime they don't bother too much. No. So I think pretty much like people are pretty lenient over here in Hawaii. They don't bother too much, you know. That makes sense though, you know. Yeah. That's, I appreciate that. All right, well, let me get out of here. It was nice talking to you, all right? Yeah. If, you, if, I see, if I see you again, just let me know. All right, guys, so welcome to my vlog. Today, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the Hawaii living and it's houseless. So you have to build your shack. They might come and raid it or do a sweep, which is when on tonight is a Sunday night. Monday morning, they're going to do the sweep. 
So every single night, you have to be looking to get your place to stay and get your rest. And that's how it goes when you're living in a tent on the street. All right, guys, here's an outside view. And we're going to show you inside now. And basically, it's a on the sidewalk. And it's built up. And it's going to withstand most of the elements like rain. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a little bit of the inside scoop on how these houses work. And basically, uh, you know, it's made out of pallets. All right, guys, so then everything is built out of pallets. And when you come inside, you're going to see that it's good to have dogs to basically watch your property if you're gone. But you got to make sure that they stay on a leash. You got to make sure they don't bite anybody and go outside. You have to prop it up. You can use one of the tents that they sell or you can put a bed in the back over here and this is how it's built as long as it's rainproof and everything is good you can put anything you want in here but it's not secure that's the problem but the dogs will help you to keep it secure and that's how people are living the weather is nice so it's possible to be done that you can live outside and there might be sweeps and you might have to move but that's how we're living outside. That's how people are doing it. So I wanted to show you an inside look into the tent living. Yeah. I had a stroke first day here. I had a heart attack. But did you come here? What was the reason you came here for? To meet family. I missed them. And then I they went. I told them if I didn't see them to go on home. So they went back to Wyoming. That's where my family belongs. Right. And, and then you had a stroke, so you had a medical condition. And you, yeah. And then that took you out of work. I don't work. Right. But it took me out of going home. It took you out of going home. Yeah, the family went home. So you got stuck here yes. for medical reasons. Yes. That's interesting. That's an interesting story. So, I didn't expect that. To be I honest with you, I thought maybe... A, I spent five days in the intensive care, coronary care unit. Here in Honolulu? Yeah. Queens. Queens? Yeah. Queens Hospital? Yeah, that's, that's the name they, of it? So they took me, yeah. So you had a stroke, so that would have been... That's, that's in the brain. Yeah. It affected my right hand. Right side stroke, not left. So it was ischemic. Yeah, it was a bit. I mean, like 90% of strokes are ischemic. Yeah, it, uh, no big deal. I'm alive. So I'm not I mean, alive. it's not. It's it's it is a big deal, but you yeah. didn't have much um, uh, negative outcome. No, I didn't draw my face. Didn't yeah, affect, you look. Yeah. You, I would have never expected you had a stroke. Oh yeah, it happens. I'm ready to go home. And how long has it been that you've been here on the streets? January 17th. January 17th of this year? Yes. That's not even that long. No. My wife was raising our triplets and uh, other children of mine, grandchildren, family all together, take, taking care of our ranch. We got horses that have to be taken care of. And, and, yeah. And the main reason you won't go to Sumner is because of, they keep saying there's no people, there's no space and stuff. Right. Yeah, they, they play around a lot over there. That, and I'm, I'm fine where I'm at. Yeah. You know, I'm safe. Nobody bothers me. Not, you know, not safety-wise. Do you think nobody bothers you because they know who you are? No, they don't know anything about me. Do you think nobody bothers you because you put the sheet over your head? No. I only do that when it's cold or if it's mist and rain. Hey, good boy. Hey, what are you doing, Brandon? 
What's up? You getting this serious now? No. And since you've been here, have you had any temptation to do drugs? No, a little marijuana. But you haven't count. been tempted to do meth. Man, I'm 64. <laughs> I don't do that stuff. That's good, that's it's good. A choice, you just say no. I've never been tempted. What about drinking? Have you felt that the drinking what might have been no. gotten more increased since because now you're on the streets? Hell no, I turn it down. Right, I, you just turn it down. I get a chance to drink every day. But you just turn it down. Yeah, there's all kinds. Most alcoholics don't want to drink alone. Right. I always run into stuff. There was a guy at a church today that had a, a pint, another guy that had a fifth. And yesterday there was a guy that had a fireball, Jack Daniels fireball down here. Yeah. And I, I didn't drink any of I never even once tried fireball in my life. I just don't drink. Yeah. No, I could, I'll drink when I get home. There you go. And you guys got some good, some good drink up there too. The worst I can do is fall off my horse. There you go. Land on my own pasture. So I might not see you in another week or two. Probably not. Because when I leave, I'm going to That sucks. It's, draw, it's get a cab and leave. Yeah. You know, I, no, I mean, it doesn't suck. It's it's good yeah, for you. I may go to Waikiki first. Okay. Maybe. May go there and hit the beach. Yeah. Spend one night in a suite and uh, have some alcohol. Mm hmm. Holler at some Howley women. Yeah. From the mainland from California. Because right now, a lot of the colleges are on summer break, and a lot of them go to Waikiki yeah. for summer break. That's their summer break because they got money. Yeah. I go down there and mess with them. So the only two things that you really have to do per week is just make sure that you get to these two different churches that they give out food over there twice. Right. And that's it. Make sure your clothes are washed. They do. And that's pretty yeah. much it. After that, bring more clothes. Huh? After that, one of the women up there at the park tonight yeah. bringing me some more clothes. And I got a bag down here. Yeah. Church. And uh, fresh new socks. Yeah. So I'm good. So no drugs. Make sure you eat all the time. Make sure your clothes are clean. Right. And then sleep in under here where there's a little bit of cover from the rain. Yeah. But what do you fuckers. But what, what do you do if it does rain? Stop your fuckers. I got it. Stop your fuckers. Uncle, you know you stay on recording. This boy stay recording you. Yes, yes I asked him. Oh, okay. Have I good. got permission. I'm all I'm Thank all you. good. I'm trying to tell <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to tell the story, Honolulu. Oh, okay. Because I just got here and I'm... I am from Nanakuli, Oahu. Okay, that's very good. So, which means... What did you say, Nanakuli, Oahu? Yeah. What? Nanakuli, Oahu, not Honolulu. Yeah. No, I mean the island, Oahu. Where are you from, uh, Detroit? Harbor. No. I come back, I go fill up water. Montana. Oh, really? Like, hello, Montana? Yes. Hello, Mr. Uh -huh. from Montana. <laughs> when I was in the third grade, I had to do a research on one state. I chose Montana really? for yeah. Hannah Montana. Yeah. Yeah. Hannah Montana's from Tennessee, the whole bitch. I was mad about that. Sorry, <laughs> Montana, Montana. I come back, I'm close. Alright, bro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> sexy Hawaiian. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, let me see what I'm gonna do. If not, uh, I might see you in a little bit. Alright. I'm gonna take it easy. I say I'm gonna go down and take a nap. Yeah. Uh, I left early this morning. Yeah. I left like at 7.30 before, maybe before. Yeah. I go early, I take a nap at the church, I lay in the shade, rest. Yeah. And, uh, Which, that's the same church, right? Santa the one that you told me yeah. about? Yeah, Santa Lisa, the one with the red doors. Yeah. 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 But you go there every day, seven days a week? No. It's not open seven days a week. I go to Cedar on Sundays. It's down around so you town, have your yeah. routine down, schedule. Pattern. Oh yeah. Is there any day that you have nothing to do? No. Tell me, tell me the schedule every day. Then starting on Sunday. Go to Cedar Church. Okay, on Monday. Do serv Sundays. Do services. Right. And uh, and then uh, coffee and a Danish, and then do a brunch. Right. And then uh, Monday. On no, Mondays I uh, I go to the. Santa Elizabeth and do a food bag. Yeah. Then Tuesday through Friday they serve hot lunches, so I do the same thing the rest of the week. Tuesday through Thursday. So what about Wednesday? Wednesday too. 
Tutsi all the way through. The same church? Yeah, St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth. Yeah. Hot lunch and food bags. And then on Friday? Whatever I decide to do. So Friday's the only free day you have? Yeah, kind of. As long as you keep yourself on a schedule like that, that's what's good. Yeah. Keep me busy. All right, well, let me get going. All right. I'm going to take a nap. All right. Sleep well. All right. Later. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm upside down. <laughs> Um, is it hard to you're not homeless in Hawaii no. so you have a place to stay yeah. so it's just hard to get a job mostly Um, can I ask you this? Do you guys speak Hawaiian? But I, I don't know how to speak Hawaiian at all. All you know is that we don't have no swearing words in our language. Nothing. Uh, the, the, the only swearing word that I think is uh, or kilikia, is uh, you make trouble, or uh, or you kukulu, you messy, right. or you, um, you Oh, boy, lepo means, oh, you're dirty, huh? <laughs> That's <laughs> it. We don't have, like, aikai, fuck you, like, eat, fuck eat you. shit, eat shit. Like, aikai, yeah. uh, muni, or you know what I mean? Um, they are, like, wait, this and, and the Filipinos have it. They have, like, kirinam, eat shit. Like, what? You got That's myself kirinam to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but we're like, you know what? Our uh, like, no, kaku means, well, no, you calm there. Is it hard to get an apartment in Hawaii? It depends. Um, if I have two thousand dollars, can I get an apartment in Hawaii? Probably. Yeah. Here, take, 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 take the mic. Take the mic. Talk in the mic. Tell me. So you can go. You can go to different places, right. but. As long as you have a job, that's what people look for in Hawaii. As long as you have a job. Yeah, a paying job, not a, not a under the table job, but like a legit job. You know, that's what they look for. As long as you're eighteen and over and you have a job. All right, let me ask you this. What about uh, meeting girls in Hawaii? You should you should honestly go to town for that, Waikiki. I'm serious. You can you can meet chicks from fucking New York, dude. Really? They fly in from fucking New York. I'm not fucking with you, dude. New York, fucking Baltimore, people from Baltimore, people from fucking all over. Yeah. All over the world. They come to fucking Waikiki. Yeah, that's true. That's also, all of Moana, that's where the hotels are. If you go where the hotels are, you'll, you'll find people like you, bro. I'm not fucking around. I have not even been. Since I came to Hawaii, I went straight to Chinatown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chinatown's a good spot, too. But there's a lot of, um, they call it like, there's a lot of drugs that go on there, too, yeah. Yeah, that's that's mostly what I experienced. Yeah. And then the guy, yeah, you know, everybody kept asking me. They were like, "I can't believe you came from the airport to Chinatown." Oh yeah. And they were totally surprised. So let me ask you this: This area that we're in right now is called Pearl Ridge. Um, Waimalu. 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 Near but, Pearl Ridge, yeah. Walking distance near Pearl Ridge. Walking you're right. Distance. You're right. I'm not saying you're wrong. And. Is it considered like more of an affordable yeah, area? Yeah, yeah, it is. As long as you have a job, a decent paying job. So what's the median price for the apartment over here? Fuck. You have to check the newspaper, the local newspaper and stuff. How, how, what's the cheapest apartment I can get over here? Studio, mm. studio. I see like, what I've heard from, honestly, I'll give you an honest tip. It's around 300 a month. How much? 300. 250, for 300 for, for a studio. studio. Yeah, apartment studio. My friend honestly told me in Wahiwa, it's a 300 dollar a month studio. You could, you could, they rent, they rent out. Right. So that's what I have to keep in mind because it's yeah. very hard to con, it's very hard to consider like what's the, the real price, not like what they're saying. Yeah. You know, so 300. Mm -hmm. And I can get something. Three hundred dollars a month. It's three hundred dollars a month. It's quite expensive, dude. No, three hundred dollars is cheap. Well, it's dirt cheap. Also, it depends. 
Can I ask you one more question? What's yeah. the situation with meth OD? Oh, it's fucking bad, dude. It's really bad. Like, a lot of people do it, bro. Like, even bosses and shit, they do it, too, to get away from... No, honestly, between me and you, they do it to get away from their fucking wife, dude. Right. And, you know, their wife would be, like, the right-hand fucking, you know, person to talk to. But these guys like me, like, they meet off the street. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, on the verge of, like, well, not, like, straight-up homeless, but there's places I go to where I have, like, kill a, a kill a fucking pad, you know? With, like, my stepdad or something. Or, right. or cousin or something. But it's just that it gets so fucking expensive, and that's what makes them want to fucking pack their shit up and move, honestly. They, they literally grab their suitcase, bro, and they'll start packing their shit up. And start arguing with their fucking wife in the middle of the fucking road, bro. If you ever venture off the Waikiki area, right? People do that, and they, they break up with each other right there, bro. And then the chick's down to do whatever the fuck she wants, cause she don't have no husband anymore. She just has like other shit to take care of at work. That's it. What would you say is the worst part of Honolulu, or the worst part of of this island, from uh, when it comes to drugs, ghetto? You have just, to. You have to. You honestly have to ask like. You could ask me, you ask me that, um, I'd say like, I don't know, like the real ghetto-y, raunchy places, is like the, the concrete jungle places, bro. Where is that? That's in town side, bro. In town? Yeah. Like, you could, you could get your hand on drugs so easily, bro. You could just sit down and like, ask someone nearby, oh, you guys got drugs? I'll, I'll give you like 40 bucks, you know? Right. I, 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 this is some secret advice. A ball over here in Hawaii costs fucking 30 bucks, dude. Right. Dirt cheap. So it's it's a little bit better coming outside of town. Yeah. Like you won't you won't get you won't have so many problems with drug dealers, gangsters. Yeah, you won't you won't. But they're nice, bro. They're good people. You know, yeah. They have their own family and whatnot. Tell me your name again. Cameron. Cameron, I'm Mike. Hey, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. And mm -hmm. I'm just trying to like do a little bit of, you know, my own, you know exploration over here and yeah. see what it goes because i've been watching youtube for a long time and i've been seeing you know some videos over here but i don't really understand it i don't understand the different areas yeah and i do know that downtown chinatown is is very bad and i know that they're like just like what you said the prices but, and drugs and shit yeah yeah but i wanted to hear it from a local and understand it you know on that level right exactly because if I explain it from a foreigner's point of view, people won't believe it. Yeah. So, um, the most expensive part place to live is downtown. Yeah, I think. And then the worst place to live is also downtown. Yeah. Over here, not so bad. Pro city. This is major pro city. Well, it's not that bad. You know. Right. And what's the cheapest I can get an apartment for around here? Probably like two fifty. Here, here you go. That's the mic. Oh yeah, sure. So, what's your name, sir? I'm Dan Deline, world famous surf photographer. Dan and I work for Surfer Magazine. Yeah. I first came to Hawaii in 1974. I've been all over the world. Yeah. I lived in uh, Auckland, New Zealand for years doing America's Cup yacht racing. Uh, I lived in uh, Rio de Janeiro in 1977. Uh, doing surf photography and um, and uh, just uh, I brought all the oh my god I went to Rio right I met all these Brazilians pro surfers on the North Shore yeah. and they go you got to go to Brazil I go why why do I got to go to Brazil they go well the waves the women the yeah. food everything I go okay so I went back to the mainland and uh, saved up some money for about uh, a summer yeah and uh, next thing I did I was on the airplane. Uh, I had some paper, uh, I met some people on the North Shore, some Brazilians, and they gave me the name of this guy, and they say, bring anything to Brazil, anything American, Billabong, uh, you know, Quicksilver, anything American, they'll buy for five times as much as retail. So you brought stuff with you from I brought America 24 to cases, yeah, 24 cardboard boxes. On, uh, and what year was that? That was in 1977. So you made money? I made, uh, well, I actually, I, I had a connection with this older, uh, Older Brazilian man and his family, they lived on a small apartment on the beach at, uh, uh, not Copacabana, but what's the most famous beach. Uh, Tell me your name again. 
My name is Dan Devine. I tell no Daniel, lies. Daniel Devine, you tell no lies. Dano, Dano, or Dan Devine. I'm Mike. But my legal name is Daniel Devine. My name is Mike. Nice to meet my you, Mike. My legal name. <laughs> All right. But but really, you can might. I ask you, because, um, you know, I, I just came to the island and... From you know, where? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from, uh, actually, from Oregon, from New York. My, my sister has a bed and breakfast in um, April's at Nine Beach. But I wanted to ask. Say yes. it again. I'm sorry. Oh, my sister, uh, my youngest sister has a uh, bed and breakfast at Nye Beach in Oregon. Oh, yeah? Right there. I was in, I was in Southern Oregon, not by the coast. Yeah. Like two hours from yeah, the coast. Yeah, she's on the coast in Southern Oregon. But I wanted to ask you because I feel um, that right now there's like a big homeless crisis. Oh, my in, God. In, 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 in Hawaii. Right? Hawaii is one of the worst. And it's one of the worst. Why is it, but why is it one of the worst? That's what I mean. Because it's, I, I can explain it all, bro. I know I, I'm a journalist myself. Uh, it's because it's of warm that. weather. Right. And uh, well, there's still a law, believe it or not, but uh, there's been some problems in Hawaii over the years with uh, local uh, home invasions and stuff like this. But uh, so the warm weather is causing people to be to to be willing and have a have an ability to stay outside. Exactly. That's exactly it. You don't want to do this in Chicago or New York, or you'll die on the sidewalk. Even exactly. San even San Francisco. So it's cold. the warm weather. It's the warm weather and uh, the, uh, what we used to call Aloha, where people are really sharing and giving, right. and they're poor too, the Hawaiians. But yeah. it's not like that no more because too many people took advantage of the, uh, they take your, take your Aloha for, uh, take your, um, They're arms. taking advantage of that. Yes. That's interesting. That's interesting. But it wasn't like that, that before. Well, we didn't take advantage of them. I didn't take advantage of them. I love the Hawaiians. I, well, I grew up with the Hawaiians. Yes. I came here when I was 17. Daniel, right? Yeah. I got it okay. running. It was okay. a pleasure speaking to hey, you. I'll Thank see you, you so around, much. Maybe. Hey, how you doing? If I give you a water, can you be my video? I'm trying to do a video on people that I meet that live in the streets in, uh, in Hawaii. My name is Mike. Oh, shoot. I'm Mike. How you doing? I just wanted to ask, um, how come you have no shoes? That's when I stole my fucking shoes. But they low down, low down, cock fucking motherfuckers. I hate every fucking one of them. I want to fucking go home. Here's a water. Nice ice cold water. You got to try to stay cool over here. Yeah. Yeah, I hate them some of bitches. They where, do you go, where do you want to go home? Where do you live? What do you mean I live home? in Alto, Louisiana. And I don't have all them men. I got one man that's going to take me home. I can trust him. Okay. Did they pay for you to come out here? Did you get a flight out here? No. I got suffocated and brought out here because the violence was after us. Okay. But have you been doing any of the ice out here, the meth? Yes, there's no fucking good. They need to put it together, I told them. I had a chance to smoke some, you know, that big pig I got, and he snake got it anyway. He got some. But, um... And I want it. They wouldn't let me smoke. I'm tired of them motherfuckers. You can leave. I'm just taking back to the house. All y'all fucking wizard of all people need to go. You got Dad Oz, okay? Dad Oz, the one that put him curved. Now he's all right. He's What's all right. your name? My name is Deborah Young. Deborah Young, my name is Mike. Hi, Mike. Nice Hi. to meet you. Let's do the bump, yeah. Let's do the bump. That's old bastards. Yeah, get those niggas away from me. I don't want I'm not one of them around me. Um, so I, I, I got you the ice cold water. Thank you. And that's a great day. I, I, I pray that you get back wherever you want to go. I know okay. you don't, probably don't want to stay here. I think there's a lot of drugs here. Yeah. I think that's the problem, ice. Yeah, it's no good. It's supposed to make you healthy. It's supposed to make you healthy, but yeah. over here it's not good. No, it's got something put in it called Impecti. And peace man, is what it is. It's got something in there making people sick. Over here? Yeah. Just in Hawaii? Yeah. But uh, out in the, where you're from, it's different. Yeah, it was different until they stole it and they put that software in it. But you and think you will be able to get back home to the mainland? Yes. Okay. Deborah I hope Young. So. Yeah, tell Maddox I'm ready to go. Okay, I really hope that you get some shoes because it looks like your feet are not doing too good. Yeah, go Gino if I, if I, could, good. I, would, I hate that bitch. If I could, I would get you shoes. You you usually stay around here, right? Yeah, I want to go home, though. I got a house, and I don't need them bitches at my fucking house. My house is just right. I love it just the way it is. But you usually stay by over here by Don Quixote. No, I had to move because that bitch hit me in the head. And I'm tired of getting hit in the fucking head. No, but I feel like I've seen you in this area. Yeah, you see me over here. That's, yeah, you see me over here. Okay. Are you military? No, I'm not. I just do videos. Oh, I thought you used to be military. I know. People always, people always say that. Yeah, you're a singer. No, <laughs> but I, I do videos, so it's kind of something similar. What kind of videos you do? For YouTube. You don't do sex videos, do you? 
No, not at all. But that's I a funny I'm question. Sorry, no, you got me on that. Mom. I'm going to leave me fucking home. I'm going to fucking home. I'm right back. I need to fucking go home. Y'all kidnapped me. Y'all got me over here. I hope you here. get home uh, to Alabama, Alabama, you said, right? No, Louisiana, 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 Los Angeles, Los Angeles, sorry, motherfucker. I hate you. I hate all y'all. Do, do you smoke ice every day? No, I don't have no fucking ice. I want some fucking crack. My crack. The devil, you don't crack. Green kid in the crack. And the kid that little ass bitch said, shut the fuck up. I hate him. I don't think they have crack over here that much, though, right? In Hawaii. Yeah, they got some crack. The niggas got some crack. They got white crack. Well, try to drink water, stay healthy. Yeah. Don't do drugs. I need drugs. I'm sick. And you need some, too, when you play football zone. No, I don't, I don't need drugs. I don't do drugs. You don't? What do you do? No, I don't. Drugs? I try to eat right, try to eat healthy. It keeps my body what going. What you eating today? Today, I ate uh, omelet and bacon. I don't want that. And coffee, and that's it. Okay. And melon, and melon. Okay. I had like a cantaloupe. I want some of that. You, you want me money? to get you some food? Uh-huh. From the store? Yeah. Right here? What do you eat? You have any allergies? No. All right, I'll get you something from right here. Okay, don't give me no raw fish. No, what do you want? Like rice? They, no, they, they have cooked food meat. over here. I want fat meat. No, they only have like like beef and stuff. You want something like that? Yeah, exactly. All right, let me get you something to come back. Listen, man. I got you 1.5 liter. Drink this whole water. Stay hydrated. Okay, I need okay, a Coke. Okay, let me come right back. I need a Coke too. Okay, I'll get you. All right, Deborah, I got you this here. This is my favorite one. Try it. It's uh, <laughs> it's called tofu nuggets, <laughs> and uh, it tastes really good. Trust me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, it, it does. It tastes so good. No, listen. It has it's fish cakes. It tastes like fish. Listen, listen. I just want to say something. The videos that I've been making is not about me, but the people that I met here, I met a lot of homeless people, uh -huh. houseless people, uh -huh. but some of the people actually have tents. So, yeah, they have my tents. They keep stealing my shit with the police. Yeah, the tents get stolen all the time. Yeah, That's a problem the police. in the streets. Well, from the police, okay. But I mean, like, other people stealing people's stuff is also a problem in the streets, I noticed. Uh -huh. But I just want to say, the people that I met were the nicest people. People in the streets that I meet that have nothing. Some people, I feel like they're on the verge of dying. Like you never know any day you might not make, you know, these drugs and stuff, it could kill you. They need to fucking die because they got leprosy and shit and they nasty motherfuckers. I hate them. I hate all the songs, I hate them. I want them to die. Well, listen, Deborah, what I'm saying is that the people that are in the streets, I have a lot of compassion for them because they're real people. They're real people, and I, they get ignored. People walk by them, and they don't say they nothing. You know what I'm saying? They walk by, and they don't they, say nothing. Yeah, you know you what I mean? To them. I'm, I'm trying to say something emotional here, but it's not about me. But from what I've met, the people I've met, I met people. They they addicted to a lot of ice, a lot of meth, but they're really good people. No, they're not. No, Maybe they take things. They stupid. I hate them. I need somebody reasonable to be around me. Yes, that's like true. Harry. Though. That's true. You do need someone reasonable to be around. And if you stop hanging out with the people doing drugs, you'll stop doing it yourself. I, I, need, some, I need some medicine, okay? And drugs are for people that are sick like me. And people that have drugs on and pain. And the other said, you ought to come see her because you used to go out with her. I said, no, they be going out with him. I don't know why, because sweet boy is a motherfucking whore. I and Deborah, I was watching the little bit of the... I'm tired of fucking brimstone, okay? I'm tired of these fucking niggas. He got a day with death, take that bitch around here and let him die. I'm tired of him. Debra, no, listen, no, Dolphin, listen Deborah, don't do drugs. It Try not to. And Deborah, eat right, eat healthy, get shoes. We'll Where try to, it. Hopefully, you get shoes. Try it. Try one. Taste one. It tastes so good. It's like fish. No? That's a nasty ass thing. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. That's uh, curry, too, huh? What's wrong with coconut curry? That's what you want. You don't want this shit. That's why you gave to me tofu nuggets. I don't want that. Somebody pregnant in your house. You got somebody pregnant. They're trying to steal my money. That's what they're trying to do. This is not this no I'm good? Like be in my hair, my hair coming out. Uh -huh. All right, what do you want then? You didn't I tell me. I want to put him go home. I want to kill them niggas. You want that put chicken? Me out here. You want chicken? Fried chicken would be good. All right, and my teeth I'm gonna would get be you, good I'm too. I'm gonna get you and some chicken. Them white you have five angels. You pretty. What's your name? My name is Mike. Mike Listen, okay. Deborah, I want the best for you. I'm gonna get you some. I got you the coke. Drink the coke. Drink the water. Stay hydrated. Okay. Don't do any drugs today. Why well, get something better? No, tonight. I'm telling you. Listen, don't do it because because it's not gonna get you. Anywhere. But you're not gonna listen to me anyways. All I, I want to say, know. I might listen to you. You might listen to me. Well, what kind of drugs are you talking about? You said you, you smoke ice, right? What is ice? Meth. Uh huh. What is that? The drug in the in the glass. All I get is sugar and some Tylenol sometimes. 
So you don't do no drugs? Well, that is a drug. What is sugar? Tylenol? No, it's a root of a tree that you got to get out of the ground. A little stupid nigga didn't want to get it out. Your mama said you can do it. It's a root of a tree. It feels pain. I don't know. But, Deborah, try not to drink. Try not to do any drugs. Try to eat healthy. And trust me, you will get off the streets. All right? You have my word. I know that will help you because I believe it right. Like, yeah, All right? Like, so. All right, Deborah. listen. I'm going to give these to you the birds. Like bad listen, Deborah. You break my bad I'm going I'm to give these to the birds. That white girl right now. Listen, Deborah. I'm gonna give these to the birds. Okay. I'm gonna get you something else to eat. Okay. Let me go. I gotta run. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Okay. Tell them that you guys are gonna come out and see me. Try this one now. Okay. You tell me how it tastes. Oh, it looks delicious. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. The other one you spit it out made me look stupid. No, nobody want no shark. Tell me like that shit don't. It's the fuck around with them Aleutian girls. Them I'm good black girl, they, they say you need to give them some brown people. Let me see your taste test of it. Okay. Give me the full taste test. Chicken katsu. And yeah, this is for the homeless. We eat really From the supermarket, it. Palama. You know they've been throwing uh, darts on me. Listen, Deborah, can I ask you one question though? Yeah. Are you happy living in the streets? Hey, I'm not, I'm not happy. I was happy when I had a boyfriend and I took him away from me and, and dated a nerf file. So what's the worst part about living in the streets in Hawaii? Uh, being dirty. There you go. Not having a bed. Not having a bed. Not having a man. Not having a man? Yeah, I want a man inside though. I want my little All right, tell me how it tastes. It'll be good if I had my teeth. Mm. Not good, suck it right oh, it's still anyway. pretty good? Mm, it's very good. All right, Deborah. It was nice to meet you, okay? I want to talk to okay? Everybody don't have teeth. All right, Deborah. It was nice to meet you, okay? It was nice to meet you too, bro. Bro, later. Henry? So, Henry, I just wanted to ask, like, how come the cop was over here yesterday? Cop of okay. There was a police officer here yesterday. Oh. Did you, did you see him? Yeah, the uh, police uh, said. To the sidewalk? Yeah. Yeah, this is a ticket. So he gave you a ticket for being on the sidewalk? Yeah. So he gave you a ticket? Yeah. For being on the sidewalk? Yeah, the sidewalk. And so this is your place right here, guys. You can see that he's got it set up over here. And uh, I was just curious because I had saw yesterday that the guy had given, the cop was here. How much was the ticket for? Uh, one guy said two of them. One guy, two of them, so two days ago, coming ticket. Two days ago, coming ticket. Three tickets. Three ticket? Three ticket? Yeah. So you've been getting a lot of tickets? Mm hmm. Can I see it? Uh, I don't know where it's there, but when my wife is there, I'm going to take them out. I don't know. But... I think I have another question. Like, what's the reason that you don't go to the shelter? How come you don't want to try to go to the shelter? You want to stay on the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my wife is there. She, people. Go ahead, I'll hold it. Yeah, people is my, we put it as a inside. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to her. Uh, she was sitting inside. Mm -hmm. My wife, yeah. She come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, to me, same thing to come out. Yeah. And the sidewalk sleeping, it doesn't matter. Ah, ticket, sidewalk ticket, property ticket. What the fuck is shit? But how come you don't go to the shelter? How come you stay on the street? Uh, is it because of the alcohol? Because you've been drinking and they will not let you in the shelter? No, no, no. I don't know. It's my wife is there. It's a true kind of scare. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. What kind of do? I don't know too. You just scared the kids stay. What is your name? Who? It's my wife. No, your name. Yeah, Henry. Henry. Yeah. So you you will not go to the shelter. Uh, I got I I like to see to inside. That's not fucking side. Oh, I want to see too. And my wife is gonna go see to inside. Yeah. What kind of do? You? So you cannot go to the shelter. I, yeah, I, I let go. You drink alcohol? No. Do you do drugs? No. I, I go to drink the cigarette. Sometimes, sometimes smoke bacalolo. Is it? Sometimes smoke meth. Chris, a no, meth no, dope. No, no, bacalolo. Bacaloa. No, no. 
Mariana, Mariana. Marijuana. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No, no, no dope. No more. This alcohol. No. No alcohol. You don't have no alcohol in here. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. My name is Mike. And your name? Okay. I just doing a piece my YouTube channel. I just wanted to know how come you guys don't go to the shelter? How come you prefer to stay in the street? My younger brother, Uh huh. And I'm scared. So you would not go to the shelter? You'd rather stay in the street? I'm with my younger brother, my family. Uh huh. Your younger brother. Younger brother, my family. But you don't want to go to the shelter better than sleeping on the street all the time? I'm here. I'm waiting for my family. You're waiting for your family? And they're going to give you a place to stay? Daddy, you see coming. I should to stay here. Big up. So it's better to stay on the street right now. Okay. Do you guys want something? Do you want water or something I can get at the store for you? Oh well, yeah, yeah. I don't want DDT. I don't want nothing. Somebody take them all of us. You want something? You want me to get you something at the store? Water? Yeah, yeah. Water. I got. Water is good. Yeah, water. I say that. Water. Yeah. Pepsi. Pepsi. I say Pepsi. Oh my God. Okay. I will try to get you guys some Pepsi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I will come back. Okay. And your name, ma'am? Kyung P. Kyung P. P. Alright, guys. So we just came back to Whole Foods and I'm going to get them some water. All these people here just spending money, have money in their pocket. To those people living without nothing and just you know it's hot in that little tent type of thing that they have set up it's not even a tent it's like a tarp and i don't know what else holding it up but it's just a stark contrast to coming literally just about like five six blocks down and you know this story plays out everywhere but this is the one in honolulu definitely the weather has something to do with it but uh, yeah that's it let's get in some water why this says five dollars that seems super expensive but uh, i guess that's just the prices all right guys i found some much better prices this water is only a dollar 49 so we just get them two of these should be fine all right guys so we're back so we're gonna talk with henry a little bit more and his wife and give him this water and see if they're allowed to take it if they're going to take it so all right, Henry, I got you the water, okay? Here, the big one. You guys have any 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 idea to get off of the streets? Maybe get an apartment? Okay. All right, guys, so we're back here and with our friend Henry. So he gave me the ticket to look at. So it says regarding RO13-8, Dot 11 and the description is sidewalk mm -hmm. something something about the sidewalk and then it just says the district and it is a it's the uh, state of Hawaii criminal it's a summons so Okay guys, so do you guys have any idea to get an apartment or anything like that? Will you try to get an apartment? Wait. Maybe? Mm, no? Mm, no, I, I got an apartment. I don't know. Apartment for I go. And you cannot go to the shelter, no? Shelter, no. How come? Why? <laughs> Scared. Scared? Scared. Somebody yeah. might hurt you. Maybe. But maybe you guys can get into the shelter together mm -hmm. and stay over there. Ma'am? Yeah. Maybe you can go to the shelter, no? Mm -hmm. How come? Why? Scared over there. 
You're scared of the shelter. Why, people will hurt you? Huh? How come you're scared of the shelter? Something happened before in the shelter? So you refuse to go to the shelter? Then... Still... So no drinking, no drugs, no alcohol, nothing? No, only, only, only cigarette. Just cigarette? Yeah, and... Uh, Dude, I'm so icy. Huh? I'm so icy. You smoke ice? Mm -hmm. That's, that's, uh, ice is dope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, that doesn't help because then if they test you drug test, they want to let it in shelter. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Here's the water, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Tell me your name again. Kyung-Pi. kyung, -pi. kyung -pi. Mm -hmm. And Henry. Yeah. Okay, Henry. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Here's the ticket. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. It's not a ticket. It's a summons. Okay. okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that was my talk and discussion with Henry and kyung -pi. And they stay over here. It's Queen and Kawili. She said that she smokes ice. So that's not going to help their situation, guys. Obviously, you guys know more than me. All the people on YouTube, you guys are very intelligent. You can read the situation fast. So we're over here. I just wanted to get a brief understanding of why they were here, what's preventing them from going to the shelter. And that's it, guys. We'll see. We'll finish this video off. We're here in Honolulu, Hawaii. What's your name? My name is Francis. And what's the what's the main reason why you don't go into an apartment? Um, to stay away from responsibilities of paying okay. bills. I gotta use my money for something else. The only thing I'm scared of is getting arrested. Arrested for what? Because it's illegal to stay in the streets. I've heard that. Uh, what do you mean illegal to stay on the streets? Like, you cannot like actually set up camp. Like, in Honolulu, like, stay over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Besides me and kind, I've been on the streets for over what? I've been out here since 1997. And I haven't been arrested for, for camping out on the street. Right. So, I mean, yeah, it's illegal to uh, set up camp on the street, but do you see anybody going to jail? That's true. That's true. What do you live over here? I don't live here, no. I. I am on my way to Waikiki to live over there because I can't stand it here. <laughs> I don't fit in here. Yeah. I just don't. I can't do. I can't deal with the smell of urine and piss oh. and people stealing from me. I have to live in fear of my life here. I'm not kidding. I had a guy climbing the freaking bed with me. I mean, I don't belong here. I need help. But only person who's going to help me is me. Right. Nobody's going to do a damn thing for me. All they do is take from me here. Right. She's my. She doesn't take from me. Right. She's different. No, of course. There's she's two different. people here. The little old man over there. That I, I, I will come back and make sure he eats and gets taken care of. And then the other guy here. There's a few real people. So here. can the I rest ask you? Can I ask you one? Takers. Can they I don't know how to feel. No, of course they don't. Oh, can I ask you one being. thing? What's your name? Mary. My name is Mike. Okay. I don't want. I want to camp out. I want. I'm, I'm homeless here because I chose to be homeless here. Chose but you don't it. I chose look it homeless by my, to me bad choices but you don't look homeless to me what define what a homeless person looks your, like. your shirt That's is it. clean your your clothes are clean you see, you see what i'm saying see how america is hey i'm 62 but and i've lost 20 pounds being out here i come here at 215 and i've <laughs> lost 20 pounds because i'm starving to death out here i gotta put the uh, you gotta pro, go pro go pro <laughs> go bro i am a pro i like <laughs> Of course I gotta go for of course. That's fucking awesome. I love it. What do you think, man? So this is my friend right here. Not like a powerful guy trying to take over the world. I feel very fortunate he's kept me off the street so far. Well, I did live on the street on Kauai for a little while. Um, All right. Jockensburg, Mon Jock Jockensburg Monument, which is like a, it's amazing, amazing uh, national parks that have mountains and stone, stone, eroded stone structures, which are really neat, which is kind of there. So 
I would like to travel different places in, in, in Africa. Tell me your name, and man. India too, Ash. Ash. Yeah. Nice <laughs> to meet you, man. Yeah. Good to meet you too. Thank you. And the dog, she's very smart. She knows how to sleep in the daytime, man. She puts her head over there. She's not homeless. She's just a dog, man. We're just finishing. We're getting the thing set up over here. So this is the dog. It's already almost done. Have it already set up. All right, guys. So I tried to make a video over here, and I spoke to the gentleman. He has the cart set up, and he's pretty much set over here by the supermarket. And I saw him walking, but he has no shoes on. I offered to give him some food, but he said he cannot talk. So he's walking down there right now. All right, guys, so this is my buddy right here, but he cannot talk. And I think he's just going to use the bathroom over here. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, so I'm going to give my buddy over here a piece of bread and a sandwich. We'll see if he takes it. Here you go, my buddy. Thank you, man. Can I just ask what your name is? Say it again. Rodney. How long have you been out here in Hawaii, Rodney? Um, um, my whole life. Really? No. So you're born in Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you usually stay over here by this area, by the Aia and Pearl yeah. City? Yeah. All right, Rodney, I don't want to bother you too much. I just wanted to say hello and give you something. You got a sandwich there. I hope everything is good, all right? Yeah. All right, have a good night, man.